Good morning class! In today's video, we will talk about atoms and elements. When we say chemistry, it is the study of matter, its properties, how and why substances combine or separate to form other substances. And in chemistry, there is no getting away with the study of atoms and elements because they are the beginning or the foundation of chemistry. So let's start! For question number one, it is the smallest representative particle of gold. A. Atom B. Ion C. Proton D. Isotope 5 seconds The correct answer is letter A. When we say representative particle, it is the smallest piece of any element that retains the properties of that element. And for many elements, the representative particle is the atom. In other words, if you go smaller than the gold atom, say, you only have the electrons of gold, then you will not be able to see the properties of gold anymore, or you will not be able to identify it as gold, but only as electrons. Question number two. Its loss or gain creates a positively or negatively charged ion, respectively. A. Neutron B. Molecule C. Electron D. Higgs boson The correct answer is letter C. If the atom loses electrons, the atom becomes positively charged, and it is then called a cation. If the atom gains electrons, then the atom becomes negatively charged, kasi naggain siya ng negative eh. In this case, it is called an anion. Question number three. It is the particle responsible for the positive nuclear charge. A. Proton B. Neutron C. Electron D. Ion The correct answer is letter A. Remember in the nucleus of the atom, you have the protons and the neutrons. Since the neutrons are neutral, then the protons in effect give the nucleus a positive charge. This is another basic concept that you have to understand. If you master these concepts, kahit balibalik tarin yung tanong, you will never, ever get confused. Isotopes of the element uranium always differ in their number of this particle. A. Electron B. Quark C. Neutron D. Valence Electron The correct answer is letter C. When we say isotopes, these are just varieties of atoms having the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons. Kumbaga sa saging, meron lakatan, latundan, senyorita, iba-ibang klase lang. Pero lahat sila saging. Parang ganon. <laughs> For instance, two of the isotopes of carbon are carbon-12 and carbon-14. Both carbon-12 and carbon-14 have six protons, but carbon-12 has six neutrons, and carbon-14 has eight neutrons. Where else lies the difference? Carbon-12 is a stable isotope, while carbon-14 is a radioactive isotope. Question number five. Carbon, silicon, germanium all have the same group number. This means that A. They have the same atomic mass B. They have the same number of protons C. They have the same number of neutrons and D. They have the same number of valence electrons. The correct answer is letter D. Carbon, silicon, and germanium all belong to the fourth group. But you don't have to remember that fact that they belong to the fourth group. What you need to remember is the concept that if the elements are in the same column or group number in the periodic table, then they have the same number of valence electrons, which means that they have the same number of electrons in their outermost shell. Question number six. It is the number of protons in an atom of an element, and it defines the element. A. Atomic number B. Atomic mass C. 
atomic weight, and D, molecular weight. The correct answer is letter A. This is basic. You should know by now that when you say atomic number, it refers to the number of protons in the atom. For instance, oxygen has an atomic number of 12. This means oxygen has 12 protons. And the atomic number is very important because it is unique for atoms of a given element. It's like your student number in school. The element is identified by its atomic number or number of protons. So pag ibahin mo yung total number of protons, ibang element na siya. Question number 7. It is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in an atom. A. Atomic weight. B. Atomic mass. C. Mass number. D. Atomic mass number. The correct answer is letter C. Many students still get confused between atomic weight and mass number, which is understandable. Mass number is different from atomic weight. Mass number refers to the number of protons plus number of neutrons in the atom. And it is a whole number. On the other hand, atomic weight takes into account the isotopes of an element. The atomic mass or the atomic weight is the average number of protons and neutrons for all natural isotopes of an element. It is a decimal number. Okay? For letter A and B, from my understanding, atomic mass and atomic weight refer to the same thing. Question number 8. They refer to the atoms of the same element that contain different number of neutrons. A. Moles B. Isotopes C. Isomers D. Affinity The correct answer is letter B. Right? So I think I've mentioned this in the previous items. So you just build on that knowledge if you have been uh, following our um, discussion. And just additional knowledge, um, all elements have isotopes, either naturally occurring or artificial. Question number 9. It refers to the average of the masses of the different isotopes based on the frequency with which they occur in nature. The correct answer is letter C. Take note that the existence of isotopes affects the atomic weight. The atomic weight is just the average weight of the common isotopes of the element. And as we have mentioned, the atomic mass or the atomic weight would be a decimal number, whereas the mass number would be a whole number. Question number 10. Based on the information, which of the following is true? A. The element has 4 neutrons. B. The element has a mass number of 5.01218. C. The element has an atomic number of 9.01218. And D. The element has 4 protons and an atomic weight of 9.01218. The correct answer is letter D. In the given information, we have the element block for beryllium, Be. The smaller number located at the top is the number of protons in the nucleus of all atoms of beryllium. The larger number at the bottom is the average atomic weight of beryllium atoms, taking into account the isotopes. Alright? So there, we just reviewed the basic stuff. Um, regarding atoms and elements concepts of the periodic table if you want to answer more challenging exercises just comment your email address below so we can send you additional materials if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for updates good luck